said. You're the one who does the saying, Elliot. You've had your say this whole rancid time, haven't you? You've done what you've wanted and... And I've just let you. So sit tight for once in your life and fucking listen to me. Once upon a time, there was a family. One mummy bear, two baby boy bears, and a girl cub. And the mother seemed to hate her daughter yet love her two boys very much. It was a strange family, because the thing is, mummy bear was sick. And she didn't want to frighten her darling boy cubs, but the girl cub, well. Scaring her, she didn't seem to mind so much. Who knows why, but Mummy didn't like girl cubs. They saw right through her. They weren't made dozy by her charms. She didn't like that. She liked her charms, she did. <laughs> they were all she had left. Time passed and the poorly mummy started coming to the girl cub in the middle of the night, pregnant with dark secrets. She would share them with the girl and they would lie together, spooning in the dark. And for those few poisonous hours, they would be close because... Because... What brings you closer than sharing hell? So the girl cub would walk her around night after night when she couldn't sleep and it was her, her who would change her mummy bear's clothes when she was too low to even move. And it was this girl, this girl cub who knew she tried it twice. And then three times. I sorted her out. I helped her be sick and we never told anyone. Anyone? It was our secret, our dark secret. You don't know. She was getting worse and you slept your way through it. It was me who held her. It was me who held her, her sour breath against my face. I was the last one to see her. It wasn't him, it was me. I never told you that. I wanted to, so badly, so badly, Elliot, but I couldn't. You had your face so firmly in the fucking stars, I couldn't tell you what I'd said to her. I couldn't. I kept waiting for you to be my big brother, to take me in your arms and to ask me what was wrong. Because I thought it was written on my face so bright it could have been lipstick. Something inside me just... I just knew it was going to be like every other time, over and over, and I was so angry, so fucking angry with her. My tummy hurt and I couldn't even tell her. She started crying again, walking around in circles. I tried to make her something to eat. You two were at the park. She shoved it out of my hand. She told me I was an accident. A piece of shit like my dead father. <laughs> Same old routine and she started crying again. And it was like she couldn't see me. I kept begging her to calm down, to pull herself together, but it was like she couldn't see me.
She started threatening things. You know? What she would do. So I said, just go do it then. <laughs>